The events of the original movie take place entirely in Norway. In the English language version of the movie, the story begins in Britain and ends up in Norway with the traveling Russian circus. At night, an animal testing laboratory in grimy downtown Oslo in Norway is broken into by the urban gorillas, a group of bumbling vegan animal rights activists. They first release some rabbits which refuse to leave. They then set the rats free, then the cats, which to the horror of the activists, eat the rats. They then release a small yapping dog which in turn, again to their horror, kills the cats. They bury the dead animals, want to at some point take revenge on animal oppressing society. One of them, Sonia, a British highly strung and anxiety stricken woman, keeps the dog and names the dog Karma. Meanwhile, three inept Cockney English stoners and bungling habitual criminals named Odd, Gaz, and Flea Odd, Geyer, and Kyle in the Norwegian version sit around in a decrepit apartment. Watching the news story about the lab break-in. Their shady southern American friend Roy Arnie, a fellow Norwegian childhood friend in the original arrives and de offers them a once-in-a-lifetime job opportunity with Circus Stromovsky, a traveling Russian circus led by ringmaster Igor Stromovsky. The lads agree as they are in debt with Roy Arnie and it is app. Apparently a good money raiser and to escape a local gangster named Ivan. However, upon arriving at the circus, they find Stromovsky to be utterly deranged, the acts dangerous and the performers suicidal. The entire circus is full of useless, miserable has beans and tired animals that will only perform under the influence of narcotics. What's more, the four lads are actually to be animal handlers why? Th the dangerous animals in the circus stable. The star attraction is, Jimmy, a captive large male elephant who is paranoid of police and with an earring and half are tusks on off. Roy Annie gives Jim, my speed to incite the animal to go crazy and perform in the ring for the spectators. At night, he gives Jimmy heroin to sedate him. Soon the elephant becomes addicted. Roy admits to the others that. He has stolen over a million pounds worth of heroin from a tanker owned by the Russian mafias and that he joined the circus to escape them. The four lads hatch a plan to smuggle the heroin out of Norway by putting it inside the elephant. Roy makes an incision in Jimmy's buttocks, places the bags of drugs inside and then sews it back up. He has a plan to set up his own circus with the money he makes from the heroin. The Roy Arnie Circus and believes Jimmy to be the key to his dream. However, on the night where the lads plan to steal the elephant, Jimmy escapes when he is accidentally given S. Peed instead of heroin and bolts out of a door left open by the animal rights activists. Jimmy's drug-induced escape causes widespread chaos. Flea comically steals a van with no windshield in the Ensu. In chase of Jimmy which leads them up into the frozen moorland. Three lapish mafia motorbikers dressed in traditional Sami garb clothes have been tailing the lads the whole time. These motorbikers turn out to be members of the highly feared Laplanda motorcycle gang who have been hired by the Russian mafias and are looking for the heroin and revenge on Roy Ani. After overhearing their convey, assations which they learn of where the drugs are and decide to first go after the elephant. Meanwhile, the animal rights activists are hot on Jimmy's trail with the intention of rescuing Jimmy. Jimmy is also hunted by a group of trigger-happy and redneck-type Scottish big-game hunters Tronder in the Norwegian version who want to shoot something bigger than a moose or a deer for a change. So it begins a madcap and cross-country road trip to find Jimmy with each group having different motives. The four stoners find a log cabin which is occupied by an elderly Asian-American couple but the THR. Elapish mafia motorbikers find them there, kill the couple and torture the four stoners for the information on the whereabouts of Jimmy the elephant. Jimmy nearly dies on the moors as he begins to go through withdrawal. Although a seemingly intelligent and benevolent moose with golden antlers befriends the elephant and attempts to nurse him back to health by nudging him towards water and bringing him grass to eat. 
the moose pushes Jimmy into a rocky overhang, protecting the elephant from the elements. The moose forces Jimmy to stand on occasion by pushing him up and holding him up with his antlers, bringing back the strength in Jimmy's legs. Over the course of a few painful days with the moose's help, Jimmy makes a full recovery from the drugs and again becomes one with nature away from the ugly trappings of man. When the groups converge on Jimmy's location, chaos ensues which results in most of the people involved getting killed in various ways, mostly violent and bloody. As the elephant and the moose escape into the sunset, the elephant accidentally steps on Sonia the activist's dog, Karma, splatting it. Sonia momentarily loses her temper and picks up one of the hunter's rifles and shoots Jimmy in the behind. Unwittingly bursting the bags of heroin inside and causing Jimmy to die quickly of massive drug overdose. This causes Sonia to recoil in horror in what she has done. And she flees amidst nervous breakdown in the knowledge that she has harmed an animal. The moose causes a landslide which buries Jimmy's body and after the moose sits poignantly by the mound of rocks which now entomb the elephant. The moose gallops off into the sunset alone. The only other survivors of the massacre, the four stoners, do not witness these events and are back at their apartment home. Meter assault Roy for leading them to the situation in the first place because of his mad circus dreams and, for Jimmy, our mate. Finally, Roy, full of remorse over his actions in the past, wanders out onto the moors alone to look for the elephant, unaware that Jimmy is already dead and entombed under rocks and out of sight. Roy disappears into a terrible blizzard calling out, Jimmy, in vain.